Hey everyone, this is James coming to you from the 10 Minute Trader. Today I want to go over with you the 10 Minute Trader Weekly Report. Getting some questions from some of the subscribers how to best utilize this information. Uh, let's jump right in, get started. The dividend investing calendar or calculator comes up with a bunch of numbers. It doesn't really mean anything until you understand each and every one. So that's what we're going to do right now. The first column, plain and simple, is the stock symbol itself. Next column, we have the stock price, and then the current upcoming dividend. Now, the yield, if you're going to buy the stock and hold on to it for the whole year, this is the return you're going to get. Some of them look good, some of them do not. 20 MA, that means a 20-day moving average over the last 20 trading days. How does this stock move? How does it perform? This number is calculated by subtracting the high of the day from the low of the day and and then dividing it by the opening. So it gives you an accurate amount of what the stock actually moves over the last 20 trading days, which is about a trading month. It's about a whole month worth of information all at once. This is how much the stock moves based on the price. DOS is dividends on steroids. This is one of the first trading strategies I came up with. So we buy the stock 10 days prior to the EX date. We add in a profit amount of 2.5 percent that's a number over the last few years of trading i come up with that works the best the last 10 years how often did it hit that target now i won't trade this strategy unless it's 80 percent or better all these numbers don't look very favorable dd means double dividends that means how often does a dividend actually double in order to get out the target okay so uh ATRI has a dividend of 90 cents. Over well, the last 10 years, how many times did that double? 81%. Great number. I like it. 8 out of 10, no brainer. The last trading strategy is dividend capturing. Buy the stock 10 days prior to the EX date, hold on to it till the date of record, capture the dividend, turn around and resell it for a profit. The profit could be one cent, two cent, five cent, a buck, whatever the profit you decide is right for you. The last column we're looking at is options. This is a more complicated trading strategy. You add it to whatever you're doing. And it's more for an experienced trader. So if you're just starting out, ignore this. This doesn't have anything to do with you. If you're a more advanced trader, it will let you know if you can capture more money from selling the premiums for options. Now, I'm going to give you some live samples of a list that I sent out just recently, May 23rd, which was a couple of days ago. This is what came up with. 85 companies were getting ready to pay a dividend. Plug them into the calculator. This is what comes up. The very first one I always suggest, because it's the easiest, is dividend capturing. Buy the stock before the EX date. Hold on to it after the date of record. Capture the dividend. Turn around and resell it. How often does the stock do this over the last 10-year period? Seven companies did exactly that. Um, DOS, the most profitable trading strategy we have. You get 2.5% off of every trade. Great, works great. When the numbers are there. This list right here, the number one pick is ESCA. It's a $10 stock, the dividend's only 11 cents. If I bought it, hold on to it for a year, that's 4% yield. 4% yield is a great yield, better than anything else anyone else is offering. Stock moves around 2.6% per day. It's not a lot, but hey, it's pretty good. But for the DOS strategy, only 7 out of 10 times. Do I really want to do that? No, I don't. Maybe you do, but not me. Double dividends? I go after double dividends because 8 out of 10 times. Or dividend caption 100% of the time. Does it have options? Yes, it does. I can buy the stock, turn around, sell the options against it, collect the dividend, collect the option money, and make a little bit more money. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about all the different strategies. Another question one of the subscribers came up with, how do the columns interrelate? What do you mean? Okay, if I wanted to buy NASDAQ, it's at the top of the list for the double dividends and it's at the top of the list for dividend capturing. Okay, however, if I want to do dividend on steroid strategy, which is is it a more profitable strategy, it only comes up 20% of the time. So I wouldn't do that one. However, if I'm going to go after double dividends, 
how does it fare for dividend capturing? These numbers are kind of interrelated. You know, if I don't get double dividends, can I at least get the dividend and then get back out turn itself for profit? In that manner, yeah, the numbers work out great. Now, I'm hoping that covers all the questions that everyone has. Oh, one more final question is, if I buy the stock, capture the dividend, and get out with a profit before the 10-day period, before the EX date, should I jump back in and do it again? That I really can't tell you what to do. However, you came, you saw, you conquered. Move on to the next battle. Why do you want to take the chance of doing it again. I mean, the calculator tells you how often it moves over the 10 year period. You came, you got your profit, move on to the next one. That's my humble opinion. Whether you want to do that or not, that's totally up to you. I can't really tell you what to do. Um, if you have any more questions, any concerns, or if you have come up with an idea that we can make this service a little bit better, please feel free to send me an email. This is James from the 10 Minute Trader. You guys have a great day and happy trading.